द भगवद गीता चैप्टर टेन इन द टेंथ चैप्टर लॉर्ड कृष्ण रियफर्म्स दैट ही इज द लॉर्ड गॉड ऑफ ऑल क्रिएशन ही इज बोथ द सीड ऑफ एवरीथिंग एंड ऑफ एवरी वन एंड ही इज द फ्रूट ऑफ द सीड टू ही ऑल्सो टेल्स अर्जुन अबाउट हिज वेरियस एंड डिफरेंट मैनिफेस्टेशन चैप्टर लॉर्ड कृष्ण सेज पार्थ नाउ लिसन टू माई सुप्रीम वर्ड विच आई विल टेल यू सिंस आई विश यू वेल एंड बिकॉज यू आर डियर टू मी एंड यू आर टेकिंग प्लेजर इन लिसनिंग टू मी नीदर द गॉड्स नो द देवाज नॉर इवन द ग्रेट सेजेस नो माई ऑरिजिन बिकॉज इन ऑल वेज आई एम द प्राइमल द ओरिजिनल कॉज ऑफ ऑल द गॉड्स द देवाज एंड द ग्रेट सेजेस I am the unborn I am without beginning and I am the powerful lord of all the worlds whosoever knows me as such such a one has no delusion and attachment and he becomes free from all sins intellect knowledge freedom from doubt forgiveness truth self control keeping the mind and the senses under control happiness and sorrow life and death fear and fearlessness non-violence balance and harmony satisfaction austerity charity honor and dishonor all these are the various qualities of all people all of which are born from me which originate from me the seven great sages and the four manus the original creators and ancestors are of my nature and they were all born from my mind and from them all beings and all creatures of the world have been born he who in this way knows my glory and yog in its true form he without doubt through his unshakable practice of yog joins with me i am the place of origin of all things the whole world and all creation moves and lives because of me knowing this the wise with full confidence and faith worship me their thoughts get fixed and firm in me they offer their entire life working for me and serving me giving knowledge to one another and always talking about me they remain satisfied and obtain bliss only in me those who in this way always full of love and devotion are constantly engaged in worshiping me to them i grant the concentration of their mind i make their concentration focused and single pointed i grant them the wisdom by which they attain me granting them my grace and showing compassion towards them abiding in their intellect and in their hearts through the bright light of wisdom i destroy their dark ignorance Hearing these words of Lord Krishna Arjun says you are par brahm the ultimate you are the final abode and you are the purifying supreme truth you are the immortal divine being you are the first god you are the unborn and you are the all pervading all the sages have said this about you the divine sage narad asit deval and vyas have also said the same and you yourself have also told me so whatever you say i consider that as the complete truth neither the devas nor the demons know your manifestations o origin of all beings o lord of all beings o god of the gods o lord of the entire creation only you know yourself through yourself tell me about all your divine glorious forms and manifestations in detail by which abiding in them you not only pervade them but are also beyond them o supreme yogi constantly thinking and meditating how do i know you on what different and separate forms of yours should i meditate tell me in detail about your yog powers and manifestations because i do not tire of listening to your nectar like speech i want to keep on listening to your nectar like speech forever and ever responding to arjun lord krishna says 
Listen, Parth. I will tell you about my divine forms, but I will tell you about the main ones only, because there is no end to all my various and different manifestations. I am the soul. I am the Atma, residing in the hearts of all beings. Of all things, I am the beginning, the middle, and the end. Of the Aditi born, I am Vishnu. Of the lights, I am the dazzling sun. Among the purifiers, I am the wind. Among the constellations, I am the moon. Among the Vedas, I am the Samved. Among the gods, I am Indra, the king of gods. Among the senses, I am the mind. Among the living beings, I am consciousness. Among the destroyers, I am Shankar. Among the other worldly beings and demons, I am Kuber, the lord of wealth. Among the Vasus, the elements, I am fire. Among the mountain peaks, I am Meru. Among the priests, I am the chief priest, Brihaspati. Among the army commanders, I am Skand, born of Shiv. Among water bodies, I am the ocean. Among the great sages, I am Bhrigu. Of speech, I am the letter Om. Among the sacrifices, I am the silent meditation, Jap Yagya. Among the steadfast and the immovable, I am Himalay. Among trees, I am the fig tree. Among the divine sages, I am Narad. Among the celestial musicians, I am Chitrarth. Among the realized sages, I am Kapil Muni. Among the horses, I am Ucheshravas, born from the churning of the ocean. Among the elephants, I am Indra's Mount Aravat. Among men, I am the king. Among weapons, I am the thunderbolt. Among cows, I am the cow of plenty, Kamadhenu. Among those who help procreate, I am Kamadev. Among snakes, I am the king of snakes. Vasuki, among the Nagas, I am Sheshnag, the primal being. Among waters, water beings, I am Varun. Among the ancestors, I am Aryama. Among the rule makers and followers of the system, I am Death. Among the demons, I am Prahlad. Among the enumerators, I am Time. Among animals, I am the king of animals, the lion. Among birds, I am Vishnu's Mount Garud. The eagle, among warriors, I am Ram. Among fish, I am the whale. Among rivers, I am Ganga. Of all creation, I am the beginning, the middle, and the end. Of knowledge, I am the spiritual knowledge. Among those who reason, I am the reason. I am eternal time. And among the creators, I am Brahma. I am death that swallows everything. And in future, I am the cause of birth of things. Among the feminine, I am wealth, I am fame, I am speech, memory, intellect, steadfastness, and forgiveness. Of the melodies of Samved, I am Britsam. Among meters, I am Gayatri. Among months, I am Markshish. Among seasons, I am the flowery spring. Of the deceitful, I am the deceit. Of the powerful, I am the power. Of the victors, I am the victory. Of the determined, I am the determination. Of those who decide, I am the decision. In good people, I am the goodness. Among the Vrishnis, I am Vasudev. Among the Pandavas, I am Arjun. Among the sages, I am Vyas. Of thinkers, I am Shukracharya. Among the punishers, I am the punishment. Of those desiring victory, I am the strategy. Of secrets, I am silence. And I am the wisdom of the wise. I am the cause of the birth of everything in this animate and inanimate world. In this entire creation, there is nothing that can do without me. There is nothing that can exist without me. Parth, there is no end to my divine manifestations. They are endless. What I have told you is but a small fraction, a very small part. Of my limitless glory, just an indication of what my glory really is. Whatever splendor, whatever glory, whatever beauty, and whatever radiance there is 
in this whole world know them all to be born from a very small part of my limitless splendid energy but parth why do you need this detailed knowledge suffice it to know that i support this entire world by pervading it with but a very small part with but a mere fragment of my divine self end of chapter 10 om shanti 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 om